Hi everyone, if you watched my past two videos, you can kind of guess what this video will be about. Here is our one day itinerary that we did on the east side of Kauai. Because we were only island hopping for one day, we didn't want to make the long drives up to Waimea Canyon or go toward Ke'e. Luckily, there were some hikes and cool spots to check out that were near the Lihue Airport. All the spots were within a 30-minute drive radius. The first stop we went to was Poe's Kitchen. We took the first flight out and so we wanted to grab a quick breakfast before starting our treks. The food there was alright, we kind of wish we ordered a bit more. <laughs> what a cute bra. Wow. That's your hot dog. At least it helped give us some energy. Our second stop was our first hike, Sleeping Giant in Mailua. We drove to the east trailhead of the Sleeping Giant and met our friend there since we were staging cars. We wanted to hike the Sleeping Giant one way, starting from the west trailhead and finishing it on the east. In total, this hike was about 3.5 miles with about a thousand feet elevation gain. From afar, the mountain looks like a person lying on its back with its mouth wide open sleeping. One of the common legends was that a giant was welcomed with a huge feast for helping the farmers create deep holes for planting. After eating lots of yummy food, he fell asleep and has never woken up since. Sleeping Giant is a beginner's hike and can be completed in an hour and a half or so. At the nose of the giant, you will have sweeping views of Kauai Island. Do be careful though, since there are steep drops on the narrow section. If I were to do a round trip hike to get to Sleeping Giant, I would start and end from the west side since it's shorter and there is a great aisle of pine trees that you can walk through great for photo op. After the short hike, we then hit Opaika'a Falls. There was a small parking lot with a public restroom at the overlook. Opaika'a Falls is 151 feet tall and flows along the Wailua River State Park. Opaika'a means rolling shrimp in Hawaiian. Back in the days, there was abundance of freshwater shrimp that can be seen rolling and tumbling down the falls, which is how it got its name. Across the street was another lookout and we were able to see the river winding through the forest. Noon was approaching and so we headed our way to Konohiki Seafoods for lunch. A friend of ours who lived on Kauai highly recommended this place. Poke is one of our favorite foods and so we had to try out their fresh poke bowls. What did you get? You got salad. We also ordered their famous ginger shrimp and inari as well, and they were all delicious. After lunch, we drove back out and ventured off to our last hike of the day, which was Ho'opii Falls. Ho'opii is located near a residential area, and so it's important to be mindful of where you park and to not be a disruption to the neighbors in that area. Once we secured a parking spot, we quietly entered the trailhead and followed the trail. Heavy rain dumped on us as we were heading in, but luckily it was only passing. The rain helped us see the two falls flowing. The lower falls was once a film location for the movie Jurassic Park. Since we still had some time before going to the airport, we drove up to Wailua Falls. This area had limited parking space and the viewpoint was much closer to the falls compared to Opaika'a. I'd want to say this is a very quick stop and go spot since the parking and the lookout are tight spaces. The beautiful two stream flow was definitely a sight to see. 
Surprisingly, we actually still had some time left and we were getting hungry so we couldn't resist but make our final stop at Hamura Saimin. This small hole-in-the-wall restaurant is known for their homemade saimin. If you're craving warm comfort food, then this place will do. Their homemade noodles were the perfect texture blending in with their savory broth. One important thing to note is that this place is cash only, so be sure to stop by the ATM beforehand. And that was all the spots we hit in our one day adventure in Kauai. Honestly, we could have avoided having to drive back to Lihue then go back up north and back. I do recommend though to check out if there'll be any construction going on because during this day, we experienced heavy traffic on Kuhio Highway. And if you don't already know, there's only one highway to get around Kauai. But all in all, we had a fun time and we were so glad to get in all the places we wanted to check out. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're planning a visit here, I hope this helped as well. Press that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my adventure content. Till the next one, aloha!